Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Slow Your Roll. I'm Cody. I'm Alex. And that's our friend Shane as well. I'm, I'm Shane. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, sorry. Uh, and yeah, Alex is going to be leading us through one shot. Um, and before we get too far into it, uh, I just wanted to shout out Chepeku. If you guys haven't heard of Chepeku, they're amazing. They make a bunch of maps and scenes, and most of what you'll be looking at today will be uh, presented by them in the Alchemy VTT. So, Alex, that's it for me, man. It's all you. All right. So today we're going on a kind of like a sea adventure. Yes. I've kind of given these guys a little overview of what we got going on, but let me give a quick recap. Today we're going to be playing the adventure, The Isle of Lost Secrets. This isn't a module or anything. It's something I cooked up on my own. And how we're starting off is the party is hired to collect Ethereum crystals, a rare and potent magic stone from the mysterious Ethereum Isles. These crystals amplified spells and enhanced magic items, making them highly sought after for mages and other kinds of alchemists. The island's curse is known far and wide, and the king grants each party member an anti-mind control amulet in hopes of warding off this mysterious curse. This will be my amulet. It says, don't uh, hurry, be happy. Sorry, you can <laughs> remove that in post-editing, Cody. <laughs> no, that's definitely... I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll remove it. I'll remove it for sure. I don't know what you're doing there with your eyes. I can't do that, so I don't know. <laughs> Just twitching. The Aetherius Isles is a remote and treacherous island shrouded in legend. The island is home to an ancient ruin of the Nanador people. I know, a bunch of big words. A once thriving city that rapidly advanced due to the Aetherium crystals. However, the civilization's greed led to a catastrophic event, transforming living beings into monstrous versions of themselves. But now, we're here, at the King's Court. You have been summoned by the King of your country to find this Aetherium Isles, and hopefully make a new outpost for your kingdom. Please introduce yourselves. The King is only really known of you as the best explorer in the land or the best researcher there is. But please introduce yourselves. So, uh, my my character, if you if you didn't watch our our last one shot that we, my character is uh, completely original, hasn't been done before. If you have seen the one shot, pretend like you haven't. So my character's <laughs> name is uh, is Orin, and I'm a uh, I'm a, I'm a dwarf, uh, ranger, artificer type thing, not officially an artificer but um just for flavor so specialties are are finding living off the land putting stuff down all that mm -hmm. so believe that's why i was recruited oh, sounds yeah. good to me i will be playing an angel born cleric named also very originally angelo I, I was recruited because I'm a really big book nerd and I'm like the best researcher in the country. So me and Oren have not yet met, really. And we've both just been kind of like thrown in this mission together. Uh, and I'm 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 very uptight book nerd kind of guy. So, yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of living out alone in the woods, you know, like like someone who's a, a ranger and wants to live off the land, get away from people. And that makes so, a lot of sense. I'm a big fan of yeah. not opening my own doors. Oh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, hey, that sounds pretty cool. The gang, before you go, the king bestows upon both of you an amulet of mind control removal. It's not exactly official, but we're kind of hoping that this is the key to the quest. It's not really going to... Uh, the king isn't really going to say for certain that this is going to work because he knows in the back of his head, maybe he's tried like seven or eight different things. But he says to you, this is going to work, my boys. And I got every bit of faith in y'all. And if you guys are set and ready, the boat is just at the end of the docks and we can set sail. Let's do it. Take my amulet from the king, march out the doors straight to the boat. I will walk straight up to the boat where Orin is and uh, look at him expecting that he's going to help me on the boat. Like, I'll, I'm just going to like look. How tall are you? Uh, I'm I'm decently tall. I'm like okay. your height in real life. Oh, that's, that's pretty tall then. <laughs> yeah, I'm very pale. I have like white hair. Okay. Uh, I'm just like, uh, excuse me, Doc Hand, would you please help me on the boat? Yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll kind of take a step back behind you. And I'll just 
push with both hands. Be like, there you go, kid. Just, uh, Get on. <laughs> I'll stumble onto the boat. Just be like, the nerve. Heading off into the distance. It's a relatively, you know, fair seas. Until about the time that you guys get close to your destination. Is there anything interesting that you guys might want to do or cover hmm. while you are locked in the sea for, let's say, about a week? Is there anything that you might want to cover before oh. we jump into it? A whole week? Oh my gosh. Okay. I know. You we would have already, yeah, we would have already absolutely grown a hatred for each other at this point, I imagine. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'd, like to, I'd like to start our relationship on the boat by asking, so what kind of uh, what kind of fighting can you do? What kind of survival skills do you have? Fighting? F firstly, please take a step back. You smell horrid. Uh, secondly, I don't fight. What? Uh, I study. I'm here as a researcher, not a some violent homeless man such as yourself. All right. Well. When we're wandering around the island, violent homeless man is probably going to be the one that saves your life almost every time you're about to die. So maybe you could either learn to fight or learn to be nice. One of the two. I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, won't we? Doubt it. That's probably good. That'd be that would be the extent of our talking throughout throughout the whole yeah. trip. We just avoid each other after that. Yeah, from there, from <laughs> there on there on out, it's I'll just sit there and I'll sharpen the sword for the next okay. five days. I'm just going to read <laughs> continuously. That's perfect. I because, can't read. <laughs> because I was hoping you guys would tell me where you guys were going to be in the boat. You said you were mm -hmm. going to be reading and you were going to be sharpening your sword. So maybe mm -hmm. in your rooms or something like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm definitely... Far, uh, far away, for in sure. In my bunk, reading a book by candlelight, for sure. Okay. I'll probably sit out, use some boat terms on you. Sit out oh. on the front. The front? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's right. That's a boat term if I've ever heard one. And it's nice and quiet. You know, <laughs> like that. What's that one joke? Um, I can't think of it. Cut this part out. Cut it out. There you go. Shane, you forgot to drink with us in unison. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still thinking of the joke that I can't remember. All right. So as we're heading off into the distance, it's been about a week. We're nearing our destination. The skies are looking a little bit grim, maybe ominous in a way. And Shane, you're up at the front of the boat. You're actually able to see, just as the dock hands are able to see up in the crow's nest, a whirlpool forming right before your boat. Mm. It's getting bigger and mm. bigger. And soon you really do seem like a minnow about to be eaten by a whale. Cody, you feel a massive shift in the boat. Okay, I will I'll quickly step out of my bunk and uh, I'll, I'll step out onto the the deck if you will and um, just be like what Neanderthal of a pilot is driving this thing what's going on and see what's you know see the rest of you there what's up guys sorry for the interruption I just wanted to let you guys know that we will be doing a giveaway very soon um, and the details for it will probably be in the next video because spoiler alert we did not manage to make this a one shot uh, but yeah, the details will probably be in the next video. Um, and honestly, because we're a small channel, you've got pretty good odds to come away with this thing if you're paying attention. So, um, yeah, just stay, stay attentive to, you know, more details on that. And just wanted to give you the heads up now so that you've got your fighting chance. So anyway, back to the video. Mm -hmm. Be like, what, what's happening? Well, Wind's kinda, blowing without, hard. Without words, I'm just going to like ball up the back of your shirt and just like... <laughs> Push you forward, not like off the boat, but <laughs> just, just throw so me off. See. The boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in there. Like, <laughs> sacrifice. Only way to appease the whirlpool. Okay, yeah. So I'll like look over and be like, "Oh my, um, I've read about this. You know, we could just uh, simply turn the boat around, and you know, that's the best I got." And you'll hear I'm a gonna bunch of yelling in the background too. <laughs> like everyone's freaking out right now. Like. Captain, Captain, Captain! Oh, and uh, if there anything specific that you guys would be doing, or do you want to move oh. into the skill check or skill challenge that we're going to be moving into? Okay, okay, I'd, okay. I'd probably just look for a lifeboat, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> just assume that we're not getting getting out of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, to I or, yeah, or honestly, I just like you. You live on your own, take care of yourself, kind of. Kind of go, yeah, you know? I'm going mm -hmm. to quickly just like grab a hold of Oren's clothes 
and just be like, you you must understand, I'm the only person here who's smart enough to know where to find these ethereum crystals. Surely you must you take me with you, or the king's work will be for naught. Great, you can come with me if you can also find out how to get on a lifeboat somewhere. All right. Yeah, okay. Is there? Does this place have lifeboats? Did we prepare yeah. for this? <laughs> Absolutely. This is a relatively Sick. large ship. It's like a big old pirate ship, you know? Lifeboat. Okay. Bar- okay boats on every side okay. and you could easily make your way to one but uh you might figure out that you're not the only person with that idea oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's fine uh, uh so if you guys are trying to head to some lifeboats what skill would you like to use to quickly or maybe intelligently get there probably probably just acrobatics or athletics i'm sorry um just like run over there push people out of the way <laughs> definitely I'm going to try, I, I don't know why, but uh, I'm going to call upon the power of my deity, right? The the mm-hmm. deity, the the deity of knowledge, of course, uh, okay. to empower me and then basically do the same thing. I'm just going to start like, I'm going to reach up, do like a little prayer thing and be like, your, your servant needs strength. Um, and then also just start just shoulder charging through people. Okay. As, as soon as you say that, I'm going to look at you and just be like, your character's name. Oh, uh, Angelo. Yeah. Yes. I'm going to look at you and just be like, Angelo, quit playing around and come help me. Okay, but to be fair, uh, when you do that, I'll like turn around and like my eyes are glowy and I'm kind of menacing and I like physically literally bulked up a little bit. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> nice. But then almost like angrily, I'm like, yes, I will help. Just like kind of like weirded out and just go back to pushing <laughs> people out of the way. <laughs> nice. So uh, both of you guys give me a skill check to see how well Mm -hmm. that goes for uh, what you're trying to do. All righty. This thing. Oh, okay. Oh, who? What? Oh, that was me. Oh, I got a nat 20. Yeah, I got. (laughs) I'd like to Uh, throw at least one uh, like boat boy. What are they called? (laughs) (laughs) Doc, 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 deck hand. Yeah. Yeah. I want to throw at least one of them overboard. Definitely. (laughs) Honestly, you would have threw him like a good couple feet off the, <laughs> the board. I It would have been a 12 for me. 12? Okay. Uh, you still did pretty well. Uh, you got what you were trying to do. Um, <clears throat> would you say that you guys are already in the boat trying to descend? Or is there anything you're trying to do before you hit the seat? No, I think that's about right. Like, if he's shoving people yeah. off, I'm... I'm pretty yep. much just like trying to tactically watch them walk by and then just like trip them so they just fall off the boat instead of Perfect. where they're trying to go. I'm just like, oh, whoops. So Sounds are there uh, there's there are oars on the lifeboat? It looks like I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. Absolutely. How many sets of oars? One, two. Oh, boy. there'll be two sets. And how many people can fit in it? These are actually pretty big lifeboats. You could probably fit like okay. ten people. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. I would like to push a couple people into the lifeboat right before we descend then and maybe even collect a couple more when we're down there so they can do all the rowing for us. Okay. Okay. So uh, a fully packed lifeboat is something you guys are striving for and that would be really easy to do, especially with most of the people trying to find a way out. Bet. I do want to say that the ship is starting to capsize, the big one. You guys have hit the water, but you can see... It's going down backwards. The big ship straight into the sinkhole. Wow. The uh, whirlpool, I mean, is yeah. yep. the whirlpool is eating everything in its sight. But it looks like the gigantic ship was able to, you know, make it do a blah. So you might have a second <laughs> or two to get away from this gigantic right. current. What are you guys Perfect. trying to do now? And uh, skill check again to see how well you do. And there's mm, going to be okay, one okay. more skill check to see if you were able to save any supplies. Okay, okay. There's uh, the the people rowing, do they look like they're like rowing for their lives or does it look like they suck? They're like small. Uni. <laughs> yeah. Cause if they're just like, if we got weak little dock hands and I'm gonna come over all four foot 10 of me, I'm just, <laughs> you know. Well, unfortunately you were contracted for a deserted island search. You're more or less the muscle here. Everyone's okay. a researcher, kind of like uh, Angelo know. there. Yeah, but not as good, of course. Oh, of course not. They, yeah, they, right. they might as well be your backup singers. 
Right. Uh, I, okay. I would like to um, like actually cast guidance on like seeing that Orin is literally getting up there and he's Orin. I'm gonna cast uh, guidance on him. Just be like, you know, call the deity again. It's like the deity of knowledge. Please bless me so that I can survive and find these crystals. And then you know, actually bless Orin with extra strength. Okay. Technically a D8 if it's a skill check. All right. Let's do it. So uh, if that's what you're trying to do, Cody, then just mm-hmm. use a D8 for your skill check to okay. see how well you guys escape. All right. Your boat's basically hitting the water. Let's see how well you do. Okay, you're adding a four. Okay, okay, pretty good. Four, I got a seven, 16. Okay, all right. Actually really good. And you needed more than a 15 to be able to land your boat correctly. So... Good job yeah. and good bless. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yes. Good bless. I'll, when, when we're like kind of stable, mm-hmm. I'll just look over at Angelo and just be like, and you thank, thank him, her, you thank your knowledge person for me. And, you, that, and that's it. I'm going to turn around. Okay. Okay. Oh, you, you know what? Yeah. If you want. yeah. No, I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. I'll just kind of look at you and be kind of like frazzled that the whole thing happened and be like, sure, sure. Nice. And luckily, you guys aren't being pulled in because of the big bubble from the giant ship going under. But there's a whole bunch of barrels, boxes, and other things floating along in the sea with you. And you just happen to notice you don't have any food on your belt. So what are you guys going to do? Are there any supplies? How lucky are you? This is just going to be a straight roll to see where... Uh-oh. where you guys are going to end up and how well supplied you're going to be. I like okay. it. I got a 15. I got a 12. Nice. So each five was going to be okay. one day of rations. And uh, okay. okay. So uh, Shane, you got three day of rations. Uh, Cody was able to scrounge up two day of rations. Okay. All right. So hey. is, that for, is that enough rations for just us or for the two of us or for the whole boat? Just you guys. Okay. We're kicking off. For the <laughs> record, uh, I will, well, through the rest of our traveling in the boat, or even here at the beginning, I'll kind of lean over to Orin and be like, you know, to be fair, I, the rest of these researches mean little to nothing. I mean, if you were the muscle here, the, I'm the only true one with wit, so I don't care what happens to them. What, a, what does your wit say we should do with them right now? Well, right now they're kind of helping us. I'm, surely that's what you thought when you threw them on the boat, that they'd be servants, essentially. Uh, but, you know, f- later, when we're possibly running out of food or water or something like that, we, I, I'm fine with them not being with us anymore. All right. It's, it's just simply Does it look logical. like there are, are any floaty things near us, like another lifeboat or, um, I don't know, a futuristic life jacket? <laughs> Unfortunately, you don't. Uh, see anything like that and okay believe it or not you guys are pretty much the only people who were able to make it out of the gigantic ship on a boat successfully everyone else okay. was basically just swimming stuck in the uh raging ocean okay and right. uh, i'll lean over to angelo just be like well the way i see it there are four useful and four unuseful individuals on this boat or they could work in 12 hour shifts and earn their rations guiding us to shore at least and the other four don't serve much of a purpose other than eating food for no reason yes that's the four i think that we should get rid of to be clear so well, that i can uh, speak well, plainly to make sure that you know someone of your intellect understands so some of the uh, dock hands, if they're able to uh, key into your conversations, <laughs> might, you know, pipe up a little bit and be like, guys, we are like almost there. Like, what? Oh. we are so close to the island. We have to be. We were almost there. I don't <laughs> think it's going to need to come to that. <laughs> like begging. I'll just look at them uh, just like angrily that butted into the conversation and just be like, well, I guess we'll see. Yeah, so I'll blare at him too, and then like look at Angelo and just be like, "You, you believe?" That. And I'll like speak up and just be like, "You have until morning to get us to shore, or half of you die." <laughs> well, Doc and Jerry is gonna look at you like that's a joke, and just slowly let that smile fade. <laughs> and if there's nothing that you guys might want to uh, cover while you're in the boat, we can just do a uh, small drift along for the night. 
and you guys will actually find yourselves right on shore of the missing island. Snap. Well, it uh, is uh, overnight though, so we yeah. it is overnight though, so we can take a rest if <laughs> you'd like. Is anyone someone who would stay up all night or do you want to uh, sleep through the night? Oh, I'd probably uh, try to set up like a schedule with the uh, eight dock hands and see if mm-hmm. they'll do like two of them stay up for two hours and then they wait two people up. Two of okay. them do two hour shifts throughout the eight hours. Definitely. So we're relying on the uh, dock hands. Are you yeah. going to be going to bed? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'll go to I'm bed. Asleep. If I wake up and everyone's asleep, whoever has the last shift, I'm going to just like throw them in the water or <laughs> do something. Find a wild animal that's hungry. So going in through the night, most of the time you don't really have any troubles. Uh, the dock hands switching on and off do exactly what you say because they don't really have any other choice. You're basically captain now. Good. And uh, right before we end up to the morning it's the dawn and you can even see the island in the distance you'll see a small ship a pirate ship just like a dinghy going around the island maybe even fishing but you will see a giant red fin right across the uh, mast to know that it's a pirate ship oh oh I thought you were going to say like a kraken jumps out. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I was like, there is a kraken fin in the water. Okay. Uh, no, oh, okay. All right. Just their logo. All right. All right. And uh, <laughs> you guys are gently floating up to the island. Is there anything that you guys might want to do to conceal yourselves or mm. maybe draw attention? Ooh, you draw attention. Uh, first question, just real quick before we, before everything goes wrong. Um, do the do the dock hands also have a little anti mind control amulet? Nope. Or is it's just two of <laughs> That's that's uh, smart. That's smart. Good, that's good question. Something. So if we make it to the island and the pirates make it to the island, I'm just gonna assume they'll all be mind controlled. I don't know to do what, but they'll all end up on the same team at some point, and it's probably gonna be against us, I guess. Or Maybe the mind control is just for them to leave. That's true. Uh, you never either know. like physically or, um, you know, just die. So I, th- I don't know. I'm thinking like the pirates, as piratey as they are, they might be like all of the researchers that are right next to us. They're probably as equal of a threat, uh, mm. but the pirates just have weapons. Do, <laughs> so, do we want to just like act completely just like completely act on that assumption and then like draw attention to us but then try to leave unseen yeah <laughs> that would be crazy just like literally intentionally kill our whole crew yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just operating under the assumption that they're gonna get mind controlled and turn on us that seems well, yeah. dirty i mean what what else happens the pirates would be mind controlled too so maybe they won't even kill the kill the crew that's a dirty trick man but it's kind of awesome it could end up really badly. Like, what if we're wrong? <laughs> yeah, more rations for ourselves. I guess even if we're right, we're going to draw attention to ourselves, possibly, and, like, maybe fail to actually escape <laughs> unseen, you know? Uh, to be fair, yeah. I'm wearing heavy armor, even though it just kind of mm. looks like robes. I got a lot of plate mail up under this thing, okay? Uh, all right, all right. And so, like, I'm not going to be moving... Uh, I, I'm okay. going to have disadvantage on agility checks, okay? To metagame. <laughs> all right. But it is kind of awesome. So to be clear, this very small pirate ship around the island does not notice you yet. What would you guys like to do? I mean, I don't want to draw attention to ourselves Mm -hmm. until we can run, like the two of us. So are we like, are we docked or are we still floating like out in the water? Yeah, good question, good question. You're right on the edge of dusk. It's still a little bit dark. Uh, You can uh, slowly and gently float to the uh, island and you'd probably make it there by dawn. the pirates are just out and about. It looks like they're doing piratey things, maybe even fishing. Okay, so we are currently in the water. Yeah. Okay. But I, I don't know. Yet, then. Yeah, I feel like we should just attempt to float by unseen and see yeah. if we have luck with that even. Yeah. Okay. Same. And then maybe in the morning we draw attention, like when we can run or something. Yeah. But Hopefully they don't see us while we're trying to just cruise by, but listen, we'll yeah. see. <laughs> so all this we're like Warren and Angelo are just like at the front of the boat just like whispering to each other like this whole conversation just like <laughs> looking back at 
Yeah, we've just become like dock hands that are awake. <laughs> yeah, we've just become tyrants <laughs> against the dock hands in the boat with us at this point. They like Perfect. reach up to like try to yeah. get a little closer to hear us, and then just turn around. And it's like, stop, get out of here. Dock hand Jerry is terrified. Yeah, <laughs> shut up, Jerry. Sit back down. So, do you guys want to make uh, some sort of? stealth check to see if you guys can keep yourselves or even your crew quiet during this whole ordeal you'd better Mm -hmm. believe it Mm -hmm. um do i need to make this stealth check with disadvantage or would Mm -hmm. would be like would the hope of not actually moving and just sitting still like negate the you know you know your approach is actually not moving right now maybe even like get down you know so i feel like this one doesn't have to be with disadvantage Okay. All right. Oh well, I'm glad you don't have disadvantage because I rolled I an eight, five straight eight. Okay. <laughs> uh, I made some noise still. <laughs> you guys don't have the best approach, unfortunately. Uh, Oren, what are you wearing right now? Khakis. You. Um. Just I don't know. Not not really like heavy armor. Just kind of like a leather armored type setup. So. Okay. Just normal clothes, basically. I don't have heavy armor. Is there anything about your person that might make you stand out in particular? I did that bad. Yeah, I mean, I'm like very square person. Okay. <laughs> so, and I got like, I mean, the the idea, the flavor is like the artificer type thing. So I got contraptions all over me and stuff. Mm. Okay. There's a lot of stuff on me that looks like it would be really fun to steal if you were a pirate. Okay. Uh, so... As you guys float along for a little bit, you even go for almost the entire way till dawn. And you even hear, just off in the distance, Hey, was there a big box on that boat? And I, <laughs> I, 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 I like reach up and be like, Get down, you box-chested buffoon! Or like, swat your hand away and then trip and fall. Yeah. <laughs> trying to get down. At that point, I'll stand Probably. up and start yelling at you and drawing more attention to us. And Then Jerry sneezes. Yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> and they're all on their way. The pirates are going to be here very soon, and you guys will be able to make it to the shore. You're almost there. Ooh. Is there anything you want to do in the meantime? How many people does it look like can fit on the pirate ship? It's a very small fishing boat, and so far you've okay. only noticed two pirates. Okay. I would like to to light an arrow on fire and try to shoot their boat. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's going to go on the offensive. I'm going to do it like kind of slowly. Angelo, if you want to stop me or recommend something else. Like, no, it's taking me long I... enough. Yeah, no, I'm Go. intimidated by your uh, weapon handling skills. So I'm going to like, I'm going to be like, oh, uh, all right. I guess this is happening. And uh, I'll kind of like, since you fell over, I'm going to help you stand back up to get ready. So okay, I'm gonna, also I'm going to take the help action again right. to help you out. Okay. So while in our staying low. rations, is there any type of uh, like oil or alcohol even something Uh, flammable tell you what give me a fate roll uh just see if you save some of the supplies that might be flammable 17 you definitely did there's a couple of things actually it's almost like you see like the gauze that's like a really dirty ball right here and then there's also (laughs) an arrow and then you also see the tape right here too all right right. it's faded um when it seems like it's a, a reliable enough shot i'm gonna try to take the shot I like some of that gauze soaked in alcohol or oil or both. That would work. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, and just kind of let it rip the crossbow and see what happens. Okay. Aim for one of their sails or they have like a pile of rope. In the since uh, since fate test. is on your side, I want to give you initiative with is advantage. But okay. I would also okay. like it if you would roll initiative too, Cody. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Can I just keep it a default initiative check of the prime or uh, whatever you would like to do to uh, activate initiative? Like, what would you be doing in this instance mm. as well? I see. Uh, probably realistically, I'm all about guidance as a cleric. I'm I'm, I'm not really going to fight myself, you know. So maybe instead of just helping, I'll actually cast guidance again. Okay. To make it a uh, so, spell check, perhaps. Yes, that sounds Excellent. good to me. Okay, and am I just doing like an attack check? Yep. For my initiative. Okay, I'm at 13 with mine. Got a dirty 20. Very nice. And uh, and the encounter DC that you guys had to beat was actually only 12, so you basically cleared straight over it. And uh, 
if you want, we can even have you being the start of the encounter, you letting loose that arrow and hitting directly in the center of their mast, like in the center yeah. of their red fin. <laughs> let's do it. Hey, yeah, Don Kraken. Right. All right. Now let's go ahead and move over to the map. Ooh, Start a little bit okay. of uh, battle on the shore. Okay. This scene, right? Tactical mode? Do we still have the... Actually, no. Yeah. This actually works right here. I told you it was this right here was a cliff earlier. Just pretend it's a shore now. Okay. I mean, there's also, some shore stuff happening, it looks like. I'm, I... I'm s- supposed to be on uh, alchemy. Yep. So you're on alchemy. There's a button at the top right, right next to party. It says mm-hmm. tactical mode. You click that and you get a map. Oh, dope. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. I'm ready to shake down some pirates. All right. You guys were just docking onto the shore and forcing the pirates to dock by destroying their mast. You both are landlocked. And being very high in the initiative, you guys get to go first. Heck yeah. Or at least you do. (laughs) Yeah, it would actually be uh, nice if we could do alternating. So uh, yeah, that sounds good. But go ahead and lead it off, Shane. Or Orin. I need to start using the uh, game names. Okay. So looks like we're still decently far away from them. Yep. You've got an um, opening. Yeah. So is there anything that we can take any sort of cover behind? Mm. So I'm looking at the map. Mm-hmm. Looks like there's some rocks and stuff along the way. Um, is it possible for either of us to take like partial cover or half cover? Just like if we're making our way towards. Them? Unfortunately, uh, even for a small person, those rocks are uh, still too small to take cover behind. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. There is an abandoned house and maybe even a couple of bushes mm-hmm. or trees between you and the bandit. Do you could try to okay. cover behind? Yeah. Does it look like they have any uh, like ranged weapons that they're carrying Ooh, that I question. can see from here? So from what you can tell, there's one cutlass in the pirate's right hand, but they do okay. have a pistol holstered Ooh. on each of their hips. All right. Okay. I'm going to... All right, I'm gonna try to shoot one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, see how how well I roll, but I'd like to try to shoot. Everyone's holding the cutlass. I'd like to try to shoot that arm. Okay. Um, see if I can get him to drop it. So kind of what I'm what I'm thinking is uh, load, shoot, and then while I'm reloading, run over and take cover behind that house, mm-hmm. and see if I can push. Uh, Angelo with me as I go kind of like like arm around him dragging him to cover kind of thing interesting Uh, Uh, that's that's like what I'm thinking Uh, I don't know how you want that to actually happen if I have to wait and that's like a help action or I'm I don't know giving up one of my actions to give him movement I don't know I don't know that's what I'm thinking you can figure out the logistics I could think of it like a uh, a failed like you throwed him Mm-hmm. Like you threw him and he purposely okay. failed the check. Okay. So it could be like even a critical fail in a way that makes it okay. uh, an extra space or two. But it would definitely take a okay. whole action for you to be able to move him a couple of okay. spaces. Yeah, I All agree. Right. He also Let's has to be <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yes. Um, would yeah. you be willing? Yeah, I'm willing enough. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it, but also I'm scared crapless, so yeah. Yeah, that's kind of the thought. <laughs> if my like if my goal is just to get you somewhere on this island and it's just to make it yeah. so you don't die. <laughs> yeah, basically, like that, yeah. Yeah, that's I don't know. I might as be much a bit as I don't uh, really care about you, that's what I'm getting paid for, right? Yep, yeah, that's right, that's right. I might be a bit mightier than I seem for the record, but yeah, okay. no, I like that for sure. Okay. Uh all right. On that note. Uh, I'm gonna load and mm-hmm. shoot him. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll go. Okay, that is a 17 to hit. Ooh, that's actually really good. That is a heavy hit on this guy. Yes. Okay. Cool. In that case, um, it's three default damage plus the heavy would be four damage, right? Good shot. Good shot. All right. Um, that would be it then. So, let's see, is that right? Um. Okay, so load, shoot, and I'm running, and I use the action. Okay, yeah. All Are right. you using your action tracker? I am. I might be. Okay, yeah. So that's yeah, another yeah. awesome shout out. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
J15 Games, right? They got an Etsy shop and everything else, and we're actually gonna link them in the description below. They just sent us an email and was like, hey, I wanna give you stuff. And then they sent us some stuff, <laughs> and it's so cool. So we got action yeah, trackers. Dude. They put our logos on them. They're so cool. Yeah. yeah, they're pretty sweet. They're absolutely awesome. So we'll leave a link for them in the description too. Check out their Etsy shop. There's a lot of good stuff on there for DC20 and other stuff too. Yeah, can't say enough good things about this. Yeah, for real. I was absolutely shook when when we got the email, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> right. And if you're a weirdo like me, you probably love that good wood burn smell. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Mine's yeah, okay. plastic. Okay, so Cody, I can't move your token. Um, All right. Like the the cover right behind the corner Something is right uh, ooh, uh, ooh ooh oh, yeah. ooh ooh okay there there yeah. I don't know maybe just there it's like kind of cover but also if they peek the corner they can kind of still see me okay and it's okay. really only like two spaces so that's good yeah sweet so that uh, was that is your it turn? for my turn yeah okay and uh now we're actually going to be looking over to the troop of adventurers or dock hands and researchers that you've saved they're all going to be running straight into the woods that's what's going to be going on in <laughs> the background gosh darn it i knew we should have sacrificed them <laughs> dang it terry that's the worst because it wasn't even terry. Name. yeah <laughs> exactly that's exactly a, uh, that's a shout out to parks and rec right there yes yeah <laughs> that's awesome so going into the first pirate's turn who you just hit they're mad and they're running straight towards you guys Honestly, they're not even the smartest kind of guys, so they're going right up in your face. Can't wait. That's one action point of movement, another action point of movement, and yet another action point of movement. He's right around the corner, peeking around at you guys, mm -hmm. but he can see Angelo. Yeah. He's going to take a dead shot right at him with his pistol. It's his last action point. Okay. Does a 10 hit? No. My physical defense no? is 12. Ooh, nice. good job. Good job. And honestly, he's even more mad about that. Like, <laughs> there's red all over his body, and now his face is red, too. <laughs> it's because he's got a stupid red beard. That's why. <laughs> yeah, what a weirdo. Yeah. No, I'm That's kidding. going okay. to be the end of his turn, and uh, right into you, Angelo. All right, let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Okay, let's see. So, all right, I'm going to very scared at the guy that just shot like i'm almost just gonna kind of reach my hand out and like you know narratively like not even be looking at him and i'm just like oh gosh what do i do um and i'm going to cast sacred bolt at him so that's one ap and um i'm going to empower it uh with another action point to uh add the enhancement holy bolt Ooh which makes him have to make a mental save or be exposed. So make that check now. Hopefully I hit. Okay, let's see. Ugh. Uh, 10. On physical or mental defense? Oh, uh, mental defense. You actually hit. Yes. Okay. So it's just one damage, but okay. he does have to make a mental save. Good thing for you. He's not smart, but he did roll a 14. Okay, my save DC is 14, so I think he technically saves. Okay. <laughs> but that's okay, so that's two of my action points. Yep. Um, I am, let's see here. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Kind of just like, even though it's not that great of an idea, I'm just going to be kind of afraid and literally try the same thing again, but just the attack. So just one action point to try to hit him again, and we'll see what okay. happens. And this time at disadvantage as the multiple check penalty is stacking against me. Uh, 18. You definitely hit him that time. <laughs> and uh, Again, against mental defense. Yep. That's a heavy hit. Let's go. Okay, so two damage. Nice. And I've got one action point left. I'm going to cast Guidance yet again on Shane, or on Orin. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm going to cast Guidance yet again on Orin. So uh, basically, I'm just going to like be pointing my hand and just like shoot twice, right? And then just like I'll still kind of scared, just move my hand towards Orin like I'm just about to shoot him. But instead, it's like, ah, oh, gosh, and just <laughs> cast Guidance with another D8 to your next attack roll. All right. And that's it for my Very turn. Very cool. I like it. I like it. And Do we hear any screaming? 
from the woods. Uh, Curious. You, you haven't heard anything yet. Uh, so okay. far, the whole okay. commotion is uh, you guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. Good. Take it. But to be fair, uh, combat rounds are 10 seconds, and we've only gone through 30 seconds. So, <laughs> All right. next up, we've got the next pirate. And he's going to do relatively the same approach, but just not with such a uh, mad demeanor. He's going to be moving right mm, into yeah, the neck yet. yet. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> he's going to move up with one action point, and he's also going to move over here mm-hmm. with yet another action point. And he's going to take a shot off at you, Oren, and he's going to empower that shot. Ooh. Oh, to give it good. That's advantage. Good. <laughs> that's that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's wow. enough slices. Oh, geez. <laughs> so um, he actually has a plus two as well, which is really a uh, funny because it's an actually twenty one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, it did nice. end up a twenty one. Yep. Uh, that uh, would 20. be a brutal hit. Ooh, okay. That's me. big. It's two base damage and then another two damage okay. for the pistol shot. And he takes that shot kind of like a marksman. And uh, he's, you can see that he's proud of it. Maybe that doesn't happen too often. You know, like <laughs> when you hit the three throw yeah. when it's your first time, he goes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But uh, uh, that was his two for movement and two for uh, attacking. So right back to the back. top of the round. All right. Um, I want it to kind of be like a reaction almost, mm-hmm. um, just in the fluidity of things. Um, I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark on him, the guy that just shot me. Oh, okay. Um, so he's within 15 spaces, so generally speaking, he's close enough. Um, so that's gonna use my stamina point for now. One of my action points. Cody, you said I get what? Uh, my next that, attack, a uh, D8? Help die, yep. You get a D8 to your next okay. attack. Okay. Um, I want to attack the pirate that just attacked me. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, so I'm going to use the crossbow for that, but first I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Uh, okay. Take my stamina point and one of my action points, and then that's going to give me uh, advantage on the first roll made against him for this round. Um, He's getting smacked. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also get that help die. Yes. So, uh, reload is an action point and then shooting is an action. Point. All right. So Cody, do you want to roll the D eight? Yes. Just for funsies. All right. It's a one. Sick. Yay. <laughs> I also have advantage. So we're doing good there. Right. 17 plus the one 18 plus four. So that's 22 to hit. Still big. Ooh. Yeah. And, uh, Nice. For his physical defense, that is a brutal hit. Yes. It's literally yeah. just a brutal hit, too. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Uh, what's Dishing the base damage? He gave me. <laughs> uh, it is three. Three base damage. And then yeah, we so. got five to boot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I want to say that thing's sticking like straight out of his chest. Not, <laughs> not in the part of his heart, just like one on the other side. All right. Yeah but five damage Beautiful. that's good okay um you know it's funny in the uh in just one move you've made b- n- the both pirates even <laughs> that's hilarious <laughs> nice that is really funny i'm gonna say too like angelo would kind of just like y- yipe to himself <laughs> when, the, <laughs> when the pirate gets shot you know just like <laughs> bloodshed what <laughs> perfect um okay can I can I ready a, an attack? Like, is that a thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basically, you just burn your resources for it now, and then when the trigger happens, it happens. So then, here's the question: Would it be at disadvantage if it was a martial attack? Oh, what do you mean? Good question. Because this would be my second martial attack of my turn, right? It. That's I, interesting. So when you ready an action, it becomes a reaction. Okay. And reactions rules as written do not um like proc the multiple check penalty okay sweet so Um, in theory it should not have disadvantage okay uh i would like to ready the action to punch the guy if he comes around the corner and he's ever within range for punching okay sounds good to me maybe he won't but if he does yeah i'll be there ready to punch (laughs) 
Yeah. Um, so that's all I got. Okay. And uh, that pirate, it's, you know, it knows you're egging it on. It doesn't care. It's coming straight to your face. It was going to do that anyway. <laughs> so just one movement space Perfect. right over here. here. There's, I'm going to say right over here. It's kind of in the wall, but, you know, he's, yeah. he's against. Yeah. 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 It's got a peaked roof. There's there's a little bit extra. All right, I like it. Yeah, he's okay, right up in your face, and yeah, even for his nose. Okay. And uh, is there anything special with a ready to action that I have to consider? No. Okay. Nope. Should be straightforward. So it's just a ten. Just a ten on. Hit. Nope. Just... Not unless your uh, brass knuckles hit mental defense. No. Or mystical defense. But. Nope. All right. All right. Yeah. You know, Worth a shot. Yeah, act, you got to take him when you get him. And that's what he thinks, too. So he's going to be <laughs> pulling out his cutlass and going for a swipe. And it's actually going to be the first swipe, just normal. Okay. Let's see how this one goes for him. Okay. It went that well was actually him. pretty. It did. <laughs> 18 to hit. It's a heavy. That's a heavy? Okay. The cutlass is only one damage, so if it's heavy, it's two. Okay. You're doing great. Doing okay over there? <laughs> I'm doing okay. Good. good. <laughs> Not good, but okay. And then he's, you know, thinking he's pretty much cleaning you up, so he's going to take one more attack at you, but he doesn't need to empower it or nothing because he's going to take that at disadvantage and maybe even start moving on. Okay. It's a disadvantage. Yeah, you never know. Okay. Good. All right. See? Good. 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 A little Good. bit better. Rolling a five. Yeah. And he thought that one was going to clean you up, but he's going to start moving on to your little okay. friend. Hey, I'm he the still big had friend. A little bit, we're talking about girth, sir. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, he's. <laughs> I'm definitely the little friend then. He still had a little bit of movement because he only moved like one square. So he's going to be able to complete his movement mm -hmm. without uh, using another action. And he still has two action points. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. going to use both of those action points to take a attack at you, Angelo, but it's only going to be a disadvantage once. Okay, okay. This guy's just going in a, like, you know, spitting in crazy fury, you know? Yeah, he's just running and swinging. Let's go. That is a natural one. Natural one. So does he get the exposed condition now on the next? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Next oh, attack yeah, against him? Are you going to tickle him? <laughs> nope, I'm not. You just are. need the sensor bar. Because he's exposed? Okay, I get you. It's good. <laughs> but that was actually his turn, and it's straight over to you, Angelo. All right, let's see here. I, this is going to be just silly. Uh, how, are they, how are they looking? Or specifically this one in front of us. How, how's he, how's he looking-ish? Uh, I gave you a little bit of hint, metagame E, but they're both looking the same and okay, not yep. looking too well. They're okay. uh, at least bloodied. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I, maybe I, oh, dang it, maybe I will attack him, but he's exposed. It's like, you know what? Watch this. Watch this, though. Watch this, though. Okay. Ready? I'm going to use healing touch. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this guy, like, swings and he's, like, lost his footing. And I'm just going to kind of, like, look at him, look over at Orin, and just, like, reach over to Orin. And there will be, like, some glowiness that happens as I reach out to him. And, uh, I can spend, okay, so I'm going to spend one AP and. And touch and heal a creature to make. Uh, okay, so I got to make a DC 10 spell check, and if I succeed, you get two HP back. Okay. And I'm going to. That. Yeah, I'm also going to spend another action point to give myself advantage to do that. You know what? I'm gonna spend three action points on this. Oh my. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it. An advantage twice. So let's roll all three all at once. Natural Ooh. 20. Let's go. That's a good one. Okay. okay, there we go. Am I rolling two now? So, so you get two <laughs> HP back, uh, plus one for being uh, healed five over. Oh, okay, plus okay, so plus two for being healed ten over all together. Um, so I get four? Yes. Alex, and does the crit work like damage does for this too? Yep, you're going to get some extra stuff for the crit. At least one Okay. more health. At All right, least, sweet. If That's there's not another thing that says like two or something, so it doesn't say anything on it. That's why I was like, I don't know. But uh, yeah, crits for damage okay. add an extra two by default. Okay. Yeah, but I thought it was something like that. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so you get a bunch of health back. Thank you. Yeah. I can only do that once per combat, though. So that's all you get for that. <laughs> uh, okay. 
And then after that, I'm basically just gonna keep taunting the guy and just be like, You missed me, you... You suck! Um... And, you know, just keep him distracted and use my last... Uh, action point for the help action. To your next mm-hmm. attack. Okay. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Tell me again, what exactly is the exposed condition? Uh, advantage on attacks against that guy? Uh, just the first attack. So, like, the next attack that has... You know, that goes towards him has advantage. Okay. Uh, that's specifically how exposed works on natural ones. It's just for that first attack. Okay. The exposed condition in general can last as long as whatever made it last. You know what I mean? Yeah. For the record, um, it is baked into the rules for DC 20 that any time you roll a D20, unless it's a fate roll, but any time you roll a D20 as like a character based thing, you can spend action points to give it advantage it doesn't even okay. matter like what it is as long as it's not a fate roll so you can actually do it for um saving throws too okay even better all right i'm so ready <laughs> yeah we are so bad so this next pirate is going to take its turn the last one in initiative and it sees its buddy down on the ground exposed I'm not sure if that actually means he's down on the ground but <laughs> he's not trying to look at him yeah but taking a shot empowering it and from what it looks like it's straight at you angelo Uh oh i'm ready i'm mocking his friend it's only fair so an empowered attack against somebody who's exposed he blows his friend's head directly off because he only had two health left and he begins to run he has three no two action points left and 10 spaces to go and he's Two spaces off of the map. Okay. What do you guys to do? <laughs> Holy moly. <clears throat> what do we do now? Okay. Um, I'm going to try to sh- shoot him in the in the butt so we can like ask him questions or something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Instead of kill him. Out. Um, so I got that D8, right? Okay. From Cody. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Cody, if you want to roll that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and I then since you, Hunter's you. Mark is active. Oh. Also, it's another yeah, one. specifically on that guy. Yeah, since You're I hit so him good. last time, I got yeah. my stamina back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go mm-hmm. load and shoot him. Okay. Um, with advantage, plus solid. Advantage because Hunter's Mark? Yep. Okay. Wow, okay, 14. It does hit, just hits. Okay, nice. um, that is three damage okay the two pirates happen to have the same amount of health so if you yes. inflict three damage upon this person they have negative one health um can i choose I'm sure to you... shoot him in the ankle instead i'm sure we could make it a non-lethal so that way you yeah. drop it to zero yeah uh, you said yeah, specifically okay. in the butt cheek so yes. <laughs> they're just not moving that leg yeah. anymore and might okay. even be unconscious from blood loss because they're at zero that's fair. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to walk over to him then mm-hmm. and just tie him up. Some, <clears throat> just so when he regains consciousness, he's not a threat, you know? Definitely. Uh, uh, you are kind of getting the feeling. Their bodies. Definitely. You are kind of getting the feeling, though. He uh, may or may not wake up without a little bit of attention. I see. To be clear, as soon as combat is like... It, they're not directly threats anymore. I'm going to look mm-hmm. at Oren and just be like, you, uh, that was awful. You're an absolute barbarian, you f- monster. I don't know what you were looking at, but I think it went pretty well. <laughs> I'll just be like, well, whatever. What? And then I'm just going to be like, oh, what? You're touching their corpses now? What is this? It's for research purposes. You should know. That's not, that's not how research works. There was a pistol and a cutlass on each of the pirates, but if you want to give me a fate roll to see if there might be something special mm-hmm. upon them or their ship that's currently docked, give it a try. Natural 20. Oh, shizzle gizmo. Yeah. That's actually really good. Really, really good. I got to give you something for that. There's a, an extra pirate that's already tied up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't want that. So... Just off the screen, right about over here, you'll see the pirate ship docked. And there's a little something special about the pirate ship. You'll notice that inlaid through the mast, there's actually a decent amount of metal ore. It's a little bit blue, but it gives off this, you know, 
pulsing, I guess, energetic vibe when you look at it. Yeah, almost ethereal. It's uh, literally not pulsing or energetic, but just when you notice it there, like you key into it and it's like, what is that? And then like, you know, you it's kind of a clicking a couple of things in your brain. Okay. Okay. Mm. Can I tell uh, if that's go... the stuff? Uh, being a researcher, give me a roll with advantage. All right. Maybe I don't even know. Arcana? Nature? Okay. Uh, I would take that or uh, investigation or oh. insight, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. I'll do investigation. That's a little better. Well, technically, it's only an eight, but I am looking uh, at it from with, far away. So. With advantage, since you're okay. the researcher. Okay, cool. <laughs> thanks. Oh, my. Much better. Much better. Uh, 22. Yes. Yeah, honestly, you know exactly what it is. Almost like a, I guess, uh, what's it called? Eidetic memory? Uh, that's actually what it's called, right? Oh, uh, maybe. Uh yeah, I don't remember what that is. Uh, it's a picture memory. Oh, like photographic like memory? Yes, thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Almost like a... Yeah, uh, that is... Those are the same thing. That's the I technical term for photographic. Is oh, interesting. Thing. Okay, nice. that's what I thought. Nice. But honestly, almost like a photographic memory, you're able to, like, ramble off the definition of this or... <laughs> and I totally would, too. <laughs> yeah, seriously, like... Uh, in the books, the Ethereum crystals are rare, luminescent stones, <laughs> magical properties. They are known to amplify spells, enhance magic items, and provide a nearly limitless sort of energy. Ethereum yeah. crystals can store and release vast magic power. Yes, exactly. That's exactly <laughs> what I say. <laughs> Something like that. Wait, uh, I'm going to be over, like, while you're yeah, going on your rant. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, like, ranting, <laughs> tagging go. behind you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna go try to like put a tourniquet on the guy's wherever he's bleeding, so maybe he doesn't die too quickly. Uh, and then when you're like just cheek. about done with your rant, I'm just gonna be like, "Dude, you gotta j- just shut up." Okay, <laughs> I'll just be like, "Whatever." It's not something I expect a buffoon like you to understand anyway. So I guess once the guy's wounds are cauterized or whatever ends up needing to be done. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to drag him over closer to the ship and then we'll get on to investigate further. Is that Angelo, is that what you want to do? I, I definitely want, yeah. <clears throat> I know the power that's in that uh, Ethereum that's laced in this boat, so heck yeah. All right. Sounds good. And if you guys are making your way to the ship, you will notice that uh, Orin recently set it on fire. The mast is uh, completely burned and it, it's almost like a candle, you know. The stick is just burning down slower and slower. Mm. Maybe if you'd like to stop it, it might stop itself. Who knows? We, we might want to if it's valuable. Yeah, what, why, what are you waiting for? Put that out. Look for a bucket, I guess. And- Oh, it'd be easy enough. Something. It's honestly a All small right. enough ship where you could just like okay. tip it teamwork. Splash <laughs> okay. some water. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And after investigating yeah. the ship a little bit more, you'd be able to take out a knife maybe and take just little shards of the Ethereum, but it's not much more than what you would call a handful. All right. All right. Okay. But we've got it. How much How much of it are we supposed to find before we return home? All of it. (laughs) We got to find the mother load. You're essentially staking a claim for your uh, kingdom and then returning to have another expedition to get as many resources as you can. So Mm -hmm. if you get a chunk to say, it's here, you're probably good. Okay. 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 But unfortunately, what's in your hand is not enough to say that. That's not. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Is the... I'm going to go over to the other pirate that's alive. Sure. And, like, slap him. Just, like, you know, try to wake Dead. him up. Right. <laughs> Waste. A little bit of time you would be able to <laughs> knock him back into consciousness. And, uh... Gonna... Go ahead. No, he, he would probably be all huffy and puffy, and just a little yeah. out of it. I'm, I'm sorry, Blackfin. What? What? Well, what, sorry. What, what can I do for you? I'll hold that. I'm going to hold one of those crystals up to him and... Be like, where'd you get this and how do I get more of it? Sir, we're not those kind of pirates. We don't sell drugs. <laughs> He'd probably look at you and be like, where did you get that? It's in the mast of your ship. Where'd you get it? That's the better question. 
He's gonna look at you real, real angry. Like, what do you mean you took it off of my ship? I need that. Like, almost, almost in a feverish way. Like, come on. Oh, interesting. Okay, almost Indeed. like mine. Cool. Yeah, interesting. Um, I have an idea. I would like to oh, take yeah, off sure. my amulet and give it to oh. him for a moment. But okay. before I do, I'm gonna turn to Oren and be like, um, "Please, if this doesn't work, I'll get my amulet back." And then do exactly that. Take my amulet off, hand it directly to him. I'm gonna be like, "Shut up, ugly! Hold on to this." I want to make a uh, comment? Like, if it doesn't work, I'll get it back. Might have nice. to knock you out first, or something, but I'll get it back. For- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I scoff, and then I hand it over. Okay. And uh, as you hand the amulet over, do you mind making a mm, some sort of mental defense check for me? Ooh. Uh, yes. What? So what my- is your mental? Yeah, so my mystical defense right now is 11, mm-hmm. so it's like one over average. Do you want me to just roll and add one? Sure. Okay. If you roll good, good things happen. If you roll bad, bad things happen. All right, great. I like it. Let's see what happens. So it'd be a 12. Okay. So not too much happens when you hand over the amulet, but you're not really like that veiny of a dude. You know what I mean? Like you're not jacked to the point mm, where veins true. are going to start popping out. But you do notice, like, on the side of your face, just a blue vein start to... Oh. A little bit. Kind of even starting to, uh, for lack of a better word, piss you off. Yeah, You know, you're just sitting here like, what is going on with this thing just right on your head? Yeah, I'm just going to hold my temple for a second and then, like, turn over to Orin and just be like, gosh, you stink. Uh... How does the pirate act now that he's holding the amulet? Does he seem more calm? Pirate is calm and astounded. He doesn't understand what you just did, but he really wants to keep whatever you just gave him. Okay, can I swipe my amulet back from him? (laughs) I mean, he's tied up. (laughs) I don't think he can fight back well. Yeah, fair enough. I tucked it in the ropes and I'm just gonna be like, ah, ah, and I'm gonna quickly grab it back and put it back on. And just and look at Orin and just be like, "Don't do that. That was that was bad. The <laughs> amulet, the amulet is working, so that's good." <laughs> I'm gonna like, I'm holding onto the cutlass like pretty tightly, and as soon as your like veins turn blue, it's like behind my back, you know, <laughs> ready. And then as soon as soon as as soon as you start making your comments, like you know, how you're better than the pirate, better than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just be like, okay, he's himself. I was trying to relax. My- <laughs> He's himself again. So, just found out that the amulet does work. Also, this stuff's mm-hmm. pretty powerful. So and the pirate cool. is getting increasingly angry. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to play off that. Turn to him and say, look, you can have more of this. And we'll help you find more and you can have all that you want. Where'd you find this and how do we get you more of it? Okay. Try What's he say? Convince him a bit. I might, I might uh, actually, I might even lean in and like prep what is it called like a was it a death orb or something crazy like that death 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 bolt there's just gonna be like nice. some gross like black necrotic energy swirl around my hand and i'll just be like or will kill you <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at you and just nod approvingly okay you two are finally syncing up i like to see yeah, it a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> and the pirate is mad enraged even you guys are closer to the center of the island than you've ever been at least mm-hmm. at least you can tell that it's starting to affect the pirate a decent amount more he would be able to answer your question in a just blood furied rage like oh, you know what i mean just okay. give it back now oh, he got sick. it from you know he can't even think straight my dad gave okay. it to me i don't know like <laughs> just going hard okay i'm just gonna slice his throat yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna step back with and just like release the orb energy and turn to aura and just be like what i'm not actually gonna kill him <laughs> but i think we should yeah i will don't worry and <laughs> just turn around uh so the the sword kind of like comes out of the sheath on my forearm mm-hmm. so just come out slice his throat and walk away very cool that's that i'll hand the crystals to angelo i will uh, desperately be looking away from the scene in general, but just enough to grab the crystals and try not to just like be gagging. Basically, I just be like, good. Turn away from good that job. pirate to the headless one. Yeah, exactly. I see that one. I'm just like, 
<laughs> He's like jogging away from the scene, holding the, the stuff. And as you guys are finally settling down from this battle, in the distance you hear a group of screams. Mm. Loud screams. Do they sound like Not duck hand screams? You know, you, you think you might notice at least one Jerry reminiscent. At least Jerry. <laughs> He's like, ah, I'm dying and I'm Jerry. It's, Jerry. it's me, Jerry. Die. No, I was kidding. I feel like I'm, I'm just gonna quickly look at Orin and should we, should we go? Should we run towards them? What do we do? Probably in a different direction. But they're towards the different direction is the water. Are they like? So there's only one way because it looks like there's a path that goes along the outside of the. And they ran straight in the right. Yeah, they pretty much ran straight to the center of the island. You could go anywhere around the island, and uh, okay. there's even a uh, more or less decrepit. Uh, building that you landed near to. So if okay. you needed to take shelter in near or go somewhere else, please feel free. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, are there any animal tracks nearby that look like they would be big enough to kill a human? Okay. Uh, do you want to make a nature check? Just to sure. uh, see if you can get the lay of the land around here? Oh, uh... I cannot roll the three <laughs> for a total of five. Okay. So, yeah, just in the quick look you have around the place, you don't really see any, like, animal tracks or anything. Okay. It's relatively peaceful. You might even All say right. too quiet. Okay. If that's the case, I'm going to turn to Angelo and say, I think we should go around the north side of the island the and north. keep low and keep your eyes open. All right. And then I'm going to, like, I crouch down and I go from like four foot ten to like four foot six. Dramatic differences. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd be like, all right, I, I suppose that's fine. I mean, you know, we're looking for the remnants of a lost civilization. They would have likely built towards the center of the island. But if you say so, I suppose you are the survivalist here. Well, if we can get, if we can get to the higher ground on the north side and we can see what's happened, oh. because we know there's danger at the center, then we well, can get an idea of what we're running into. Right, that is obviously the smart choice, and I was just testing you anyway, so you've passed, and I'm that I'm you've, take you've off done well. Oh, well, you're still talking. <laughs> yeah, my eyes will be closed, and I'll be like, it was just a test anyway, and then I uh, realize you're gone, and be like, oh. You're like, yeah, <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, yeah. and uh, yeah, you guys would be able to explore for a decent amount of stretch of coast. Uh, all the way all the way across the coast you would notice a decent amount of maybe outcroppings that you could enter into the jungle but uh, how far do you guys really want to go uh, there is a cliff that you guys could head off towards but okay. uh, you also notice that that's the direction that the pirate ship came from as well mm -hmm. okay pretty much anywhere that would just give us a better idea of what we're running into into the forest like if there was anywhere that's like a hill and then we can like mm -hmm. look back at what we just ran past yeah a hill some, some tall middle. trees on a hill yeah something like that right yeah, oh, yeah, yeah okay yeah. climb a tree yeah, uh, uh, basically like if we could see any ruins of a civilization even that would be awesome like, if there was like a mm -hmm. like some tower at the center and we could see the remnants of that so we at least have like a point that we want to head towards instead of just general middle of the island Okay, sure. Uh, if you climbed up a couple of trees, you could totally get a lay of the land. It's not, let's say, like a big volcano in the middle of an island. It's m a more flat island, more or okay. less. Okay. So you're going to see that there's a cliff on one side of the island, maybe about 50 feet up. And that's like the highest point of the island, more or less. So you could go to one end of the island up on the cliff, or you could just climb up a little bit on some trees to see if you can see in your area. If the trees are good enough, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah, I feel like They're maybe they won't be quite as good, but at the same time, we won't be exposing ourselves to more pirates, possibly, so I'm happy with that middle ground, too. Alright. Perfect. Absolutely. And All right. honestly, this wouldn't take too much, but if you did want to make something like an awareness check to see exactly how much you're able to take in. 24. Okay. You are very aware that there is a ancient civilization directly in the middle of this island. There's a couple Sweet. of buildings that you might be able to see just completely okay. covered in moss and rock, but... Uh, 
as far as a main temple goes, it's not too familiar to your eyes at the moment. Okay. You might have to go looking for something like that. Okay. Or uh, if you were to take a look over to the cliff, you might even notice that there's a little bit of activity over on that side as well. That was my uh, next question. Interesting. Yes. That's where the pirates are stationed out. You would even see that the lights are flickering every now and then uh, with a giant bonfire that never ends. Well, I'm sure Almost we could get magical. information there. Maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we could get death threats, which is a form of information. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I don't know. What do you what do you think? I Mr. think Mr. researcher I the think best. obviously the best idea we could possibly do have right now is to make our way back to the pirates we just killed take their clothes, disguise ourselves, dress up like pirates, and go to wherever the pirates area is and be like, old Blackfin, arg, tell you what, you know? And be like, my, don't you guys hate that thing in the middle of the island? Let's, let's talk about it. What do you think? I think if you could do better, then what do you mean? Try that. That's the best plan there is. I mean, you can't do better. You can you with could, Baker. You, you can do better. I how about understand. this? <laughs> how about how about you go and get the clothes, and I'll stay in this tree. What? Me? Uh, and I'll shoot them if they get too close to you, or if it looks menacing. And hopefully, I don't miss and hit you instead. How? Wh- or, you expect uh, me to go get the clothes off of those? I'll go with d- you to get the clothes. Dead animals? Yes. All research. right. Fine. I'll do <laughs> research. All right. All right. Fine. So. We can head back together, get the clothes. Um, yeah, uh, you want to do that? Let's freaking do it. Let's do it. All right, run back, get the clothes. When we get there, I'm not gonna change. Get back. Oh, I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> All right, <clears throat> but we're already back there. So what are you gonna do? All right, fine. Well, first off, I'll I'll pick up the clothes. Okay, we're gonna go through this whole thing where like I get the clothes off of the bodies, asking for help the whole time because I'm scared to touch them. And then eventually I'm gonna put the clothes on and I'm gonna look so completely out of place. Like my skin is very clean. Uh, My hair is just like perfectly swept back and just like white. I have to like slap the halo off of the top of my head. And I'm just like, all right, how's this? How do I look? Not like a pirate. What? Luckily, the pirate you were looting also had fake earrings too. Just (laughs) how's uh, the death orb thing that you have? Can that work from far away? It can. Not that I've ever used it on like a person, but I can will plants with it and things. So I imagine so. Okay, let's do that, and you can use it on a person. You get to learn something today. Isn't that exciting? I'm just scared. I'm just like, no. Um, I'll start changing into the other pirate's clothes. Yes. And nice. Do I look more like a pirate? Oh, yes. You're both <laughs> yeah. very swashbuckling. All right. All right. Okay, so then I guess while we're walking back up there, mm-hmm. say you don't have to talk to him. You don't even have to walk up to him hide in the forest don't get eaten but if i need help my help if it comes down to it and it's them or me better choose them you know to die well i'm just kind of like you know grab the shirt and just be like all right fine i'll just stay behind you i won't even come out unless i feel like you need help and then i'll just stay behind you sounds great uh all right so we make our way back up find them and and i don't know charisma is my worst so we'll see what happens. All right. So would you say we're making our way to the pirate encampment? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, see if we can find a couple like loners on the outskirts instead of going right into the heart of it. Definitely. Trying to hide I've in some bushes got... or something relatively nearby. If you guys want to check out the uh, tactical map number two, that'll mm-hmm. give you a little bit of an idea of where you're heading into. Oh, whoa. That's so cool. Holy cow. Okay, sweet. Um, (laughs) All right. Are we coming from like the top right then? Yep. You guys will be coming in from the top. For the record, we see whatever map you have selected. So I only see map two and I don't have other options. Oh, even better. All right, cool. Sweet. I'm just going to put a couple of people on the map really quick. Make it a little bit easier. I like the massive bird's nest. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty intimidating. Yeah, it rocks. Mm -hmm. 
That's a I'm real crow's nobody, nest. Yeah, I'm ashamed nobody got my uh, bird pun. I was trying to understand it. I didn't. I couldn't get it because a rock is a giant eagle. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. I see now. Mm. I should have known. I should have thought back to Borderlands. They're in there. <laughs> okay. I've got everybody all laid out over here. Oh, and I have to lay the party out too. Sorry. Feel free to move your people. However, it's just going to be free movement, and we're not in combat or anything. So just walk okay. around the camp as you will. Uh, we don't need All to right. do stealth checks until unless you're trying to like specifically not be seen because you have disguises. So let's uh, okay. go ahead and start off with however you guys would like to work around your pirate encampment. All okay, right. I would like to confidently walk this way, uh, just like between these two carts, and then down this little path here. Sounds good. To the crow's nest. Okay. Angelo, are you following, or do you want to try to cut through the woods? I think is this uh, is this just tall grass here around the tr trails? Yeah, for the most okay. part, it's not going to be okay. uh, too That's much. The seems, palm yeah. trees are the trees. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to basically just kind of like I'm going to also confidently walk up behind um, Orin until I get to this first cart, and then I'm going to try to wait until no one's really looking at me, and then I'm just going to try to like duck and sit behind the cart. <laughs> <laughs> just sit there and okay. not be seen. Sounds good. Nice. Uh, I'm okay, not even going to say you need to check for that. That's that's on brand. Yeah, I'll pretty much literally like actually look around until I like feel like no one's looking at me and just like do 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 and then just like rapidly sit behind the wagon <laughs> prone even if it's necessary. Nice. All right, I'm going to try to talk to this pirate that's right here in front of me. Absolutely. Uh, just get some information. I mean, try to do like, you know, Let's try to have some pirate conversations. Throw some in there and mention the word scurvy or something. That's uh, the way to do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Whatever you do, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then ask him, or like maybe try to convince him that we should go get more of the Ethereum. Mm, okay. Smart. See if he gives out any info or if he's like, well, you could go here or um, be where they keep it or something if there's a storehouse. Okay. So, uh, specifically, you're trying to find out if these pirates have Ethereum, or w I guess we'll, what's yeah. keeping them or if, safe? Yeah, if they have Ethereum, or if I can convince them to go, to, like, tell us where to get some. Oh, okay, okay. One of the two. So, uh, honestly, you go up to this guy in a, the coolest, calmest way you can possible. And then you're like, hey, you know, you got any of that special rock? And he's like, ah, go talk to Blackfin, dude. That that stuff's so easy. And then he's actually going to point to the fire that is constantly burning. And you're going to see a mm. giant chunk of it. Literally like the size of a boulder. It's Whoa. in the middle of the fire, keeping the fire going. And the Where dude's going to just be like, take your knife and chip it, man. Get out of here. And he's actually like still drinking. Like, don't mess okay. with... Don't mess with Jocko O'Malley. I tell you what, if you need no help, ask someone else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but for real, if you need help, let me know. Uh, where's the fire at then? Like on okay. So uh, I didn't exactly have a big fire on the map, but I'd okay. say it's just yeah. off the screen right where you see this uh, roof that's kind of red off of kind of where you guys started. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah, it'd be kind of like off to Over that next. side. Okay. Yeah. Cool, okay. Cool, cool. Just um, essentially, basically off screen. Yeah. All right. I'm going to make my way back then and along the way try to collect Angelo. Okay. Um, I'll ha mostly willingly, you know, you'll see me back there, just kind of like sweating, sitting behind the thing. And then I'll like see you walk over and be like, oh, um, I was just keeping watch. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll briefly explain that we have to go to the fire and try to just take some out of there. Just take it out of there. Let's do it. Yeah. You have yeah. a you have a magical way you can do that so we don't get burned or Oh me, of course. Or, um yeah. I can uh I can have my deity bless you and then you can do it safely. Wink wink. Just grunt and then start walking towards the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever you're doing next, you do have guidance. <laughs> okay. And uh as you walk towards the fire, you're gonna notice that there's a throne sitting in front of the fire and black fin sits atop that throne kind of just oh. like staring into the fire ominously mm. okay 
Okay, I want to all walk up to Blackfin and I'll say Blackfin Jack O'Malley told me to come get some of the get some of the Ethereum out of here and bring it back, and then I'm just gonna reach for it and try to do it. He's gonna say um, like with a sword, not with my hand. Okay, he's gonna say. Quit with that fancy talk. You know it's a week worth of rations to get more. Oh, dang. So he's looking at you and he says you're not going to eat for a week. But you got to take some if you want it. Mm. He obviously thinks you're part of the crew. Yeah. I'll, like, I'll play into it and wait for a second and just say it's worth it. And then scrape some off. Definitely. I would, I would like to, you know, just kind of standing back, but like eyeing up Blackfin... Yeah. Does he seem to have anything on him that is similar to our amulets? Ooh, okay. So, uh, give me some sort of a check. Maybe investigation, awareness, uh, okay. so stuff like that. I feel like I'm just taking kind of a quick glance. Uh, so, I'm going to roll awareness to see if I just see anything surface level, you know? Okay. 22. 22. So you are able to see without a shadow of doubt that there's not a protection on this man. Dang. Okay. Strong willed dude. All right. I'll keep that. I'll keep that up here. Okay. Okay. Until uh, Orin comes back anyway. Also, the uh, giant meteor, meteor of Ethereum in the middle of the pirate camp may also have something to do with that. Very interesting. So when Orin comes back, I'll kind of just like pull him aside and be like, um, that guy doesn't seem crazy, and he's he doesn't have any sort of protection on him, I can tell. So, that seems strange. Also, the rock seems strange. Something about this is just fishy. Okay, I yeah, don't... That's, all. that's it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I got this so that you didn't have to get too warm. I, I like, start talking and just stop and just look at you and just be like, I, well, I, well, you are playing around with your flaming rock. I was actually paying attention and realized that the rock seems to serve some sort of purpose. Maybe it keeps them sane, but also not. I'm I'm not sure. It was for the little amulet. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Not sure. I, you know, I'm getting like all inquisitive now, right? Like I'm all curious. The researcher spirits coming out and make me a little bit more brave. Sure. I'd like to approach this group of pirates here in the middle. Absolutely. Just walk straight up to them. Um, and just be like, uh, let me sell it a little better this time. But basically, I'll just walk right up to him and just be like, well, have we lost any others? You know, has any others gone completely insane that I haven't heard about yet? Well, Mara Wren, I tell you, she drank so much this morning that she hasn't woken up <laughs> ill all day. I swear. And I'll be like, no, not that stupid. The, <laughs> you know, uh, with... And I'll, I'll even like, you know, kind of be direct with it. Be like, you know, like withdrawals from the good stuff, not that good stuff. And then the pirates are going to be like, what are you stupid? Did you forget your crystals again? And they're going to be like, you know, for a fact, if you forget one more time, it's a week of rations. Forget again, it's two. Forget one more time. You won't ever forget again. And I'll just be like, oh, no, of course not. I've I've got them uh, with me. I was just that's one mistake I've made once and once was too many. And I'll just walk away like, yeah, right. For sure. <clears throat> nope. OK, I'm just going to walk directly back towards the path uh, and notice that Orin is no longer on the path. And like kind of like stand there and like look around almost frantically for a second it looks like he's still a little bit uh, by the fire and uh, you'll also notice two pirates walking close to him almost almost shoving you shane or, or almost shoving you or and just like get out of the way beer coming you know okay um very fun mm. beer coming you said yeah just yeah. a big barrel of beer can we uh a load <laughs> yes yeah. literally how bad of an idea is it to try to steal the whole fire rock <laughs> steal the whole rock oh my gosh yeah dude i mean you, there's you enough of a distraction yeah like what if they what if they you know trip and fall into the fire and somehow put it out with their barrel of beer and then blackfin tries to discipline them or something and we sneak off with it yeah is it gonna put it out 
or is it going to make it nice way well. worse? Either way, it's sick, and I'm for it. Whatever happens, really. It'd be a pretty good distraction to at least get Blackfin's attention away from the fire. <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure. Just shove those guys. All right. Yeah, let's yeah, for try Shove it. those guys right it. into the fire. I'm going to help okay. you, though. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, right, wait. Cool. I'm going to come right up over to you. This sounds like <laughs> and, a terrible idea. I love it. And just like, just haphazardly. I'm not, I'm not giving you guidance this time. I'm just like waiting till yeah. you make your move and I'm literally just going to shove you. So I'm, I'm going to give you the help action again, okay. but not with okay. guidance. Yeah. Well, nice. actually, okay, let's do it. Uh, right, just give want? me a roll. If it's going to be a shove, it okay. could totally be an attack check or maybe an athletics check. Okay. Um, with a D8, right? With the, the help, help. does. Yes. Unless, I mean, I don't know, Alex, I don't want to force your hand. If you'd rather I also make an athletics check or something, that's an option too. It's no, to that's okay. We can just say that your guidance or help and is okay. in the form of, you know, giving him a push, the sarcastic version. This time. Okay. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> See, it's so much better when it's not magical. 12. Nice. Yeah. Um, for athletics, that gives us a 23 total. Nice. Okay. Honestly, you push these dudes straight off of you. Like the second they bumped into you, you bumped them straight back. The dude goes down, the barrel falls, like literally the lid pops right off and goes straight Perfect. into the fire. Mind you, this is beer. It's going to splash out the first like little bits of it, but this is the hottest rock in existence because it's been in a fire for the longest time. And it causes an explosion directly on the side of this rock, cracking it in three pieces. Uh oh. Uh, Putting out the fire. Okay. And Blackfin is mad. Uh, is he mad at us or the two carrying the beer? He didn't happen to see that you shoved them. He just <laughs> happened to see that those idiots fell in the fire. That's okay. right. Okay. So. You you might be out of the heat for now, except you're still gonna take one d six. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I was like, whoa! <laughs> it's like that could be bad. Okay. okay. Yeah. No. There's a uh, just an explosion, and the guys in front of you definitely cover the brunt of the explosion from the beer that they just threw all over a bonfire. The bonfire is extinguished by the rock that splits in three. It's a it's a boulder-ish rock. You could probably carry one of the pieces of the rock now, but you, you'd be pretty hard pressed to do so, especially since it's yeah. the hottest rock in existence. <laughs> yeah, and Blackfin, I'm, I'm sure it's just like right there, very aware of what's going on at this point. And the thing about Blackfin, everybody, is he's not just your typical pirate. The rage in him spikes at such an intensity that he begins to grow sharp, sharp teeth. Oh! And his... Can you guys see the view? I just see the map still. Oh, darn. Okay. Uh, his teeth begin to grow sharp and jagged. His face getting more and more blue and fish-like, emerging to be a were shark. Holy, what? What? Yes, two rows of teeth emerge in his mouth as he roars in front of the fire. <laughs> and I think we're going to have to cut it right there today. Uh, okay. Good. <laughs> and if you zoom in on the token, you can see exactly what his face looks like. Oh, yeah. Yep, there he is. That's awesome. All right, cool. Um, I'm scared. I'm glad I have time to think about how fast I can run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay. Until okay. next time. Yeah. Thank you guys for uh, going along with all of this. And thank you guys for watching too. If you guys did like that, make sure you leave a like, comment, or subscribe. We could always use just a few more to hit that thousand, everybody. That's what yes. we're working for. Yes. We're almost there. But is there anything you might want to say before we go, Cody? Uh, not a whole lot. I think you said it all. Appreciate you guys big time. Uh, check out the links in the description for both J15 games and Chip Haku. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys very soon on the next one, right? Absolutely. Bye, everybody. See you.